again, it's Mary, your GTEC Guru, and I'm here once again for another edition of G Suite Tips. For today, I will show you how to take attendance in Google Classroom. I know that it's very easy to take attendance when your students are all inside the classroom, but in a case of a quarantine or an online class or a remote class, do you have to get them on a hangout all the time, or is there an easier way? I know that many teachers have tried many different ways using Google products to take attendance and one of them is Google Forms, but today I'm going to show you how to actually use the native features of Google Classroom in order to take attendance. First, you will need to go to the Classwork tab. Under Classwork, first create a topic. Why do you need to create a topic? A topic will put together all of the attendance questions that you've already asked your students. In this case, click on Topic and put in the topic. As you can see, in my classwork, I already put in the topic Attendance. So maybe you can put in Registration or whatever you would like to call your attendance topic. So let me just cancel that. And under Attendance, once you've created a topic, just create a question. So the question will be for every single day that you're taking attendance, you will need to create a question for it. In this case, maybe I would like to create a question for March 30th. And this, this will be for my session on G Suite tips. And don't forget to ask multiple choice or choose multiple choice as your option and put in, are you present? Under the options, put in the options yes and no. All right. And any additional uh, instructions that you might want to put in here. Note that on the sidebar, you have a due date. It would be a good idea to put in the due date or the day on the day of the session. And for the topic, then you can put this under attendance. All right. So now you can ask your question. The good thing about this is that you can ask the question right away or you can post this as a draft or schedule it to post on the day itself. That's one of the nice features of Google Classroom. Now let's uh, take a look at what the student will see once you've already asked this question. Here is a view of a student. So let's say my student, his name is Thor. Yes, I have put in superhero names for my uh, students. I can see here that I can now put in attendance for for this and let's say my answer is no or I can click on the question as a student and I can click on no I can put in a private comment let's say I will not be present or I cannot attend the session I can put in not on earth currently in Asgard all right and then I can just post that and turn it in. I had a little bit of an error there, so let me just post that again. Okay, so now let's go back to the view of the teacher. So this is what the teacher is gonna see. I'm gonna view the question now. And I can see that Thor has already turned in his answer. And now I'm gonna grade it. Why do I need to grade it? This is so it's easier for you to put it all in a spreadsheet. We are going to be exporting this in a spreadsheet so it would be better for us to uh, grade it. Let's say if I'm going to grade no as 0 and yes as 100, then I can just put in 0 for Thor. Is there an easier way for me to just put in 0 for all of the people who turned in no? Yes, there is. Click on sort by status and you can sort by answer. So everybody who said yes, you can put in 100 for them. And everybody who said no, you can put in zero for that. So it would be easier for you to just put in the grades that you would like to put. Don't forget to return. Because if you don't return, it will not show up in your grading sheet. So let's say I will return. Make sure you return all of the grades to the students before you copy all grades to Google Sheets. Otherwise, it will create copies of Google Sheets, like multiple copies of Google Sheets, and you wouldn't want that. So make sure to return everything first before you copy all grades. So I'm gonna copy all grades to Google Sheets now. All right, as you can see in the Google Sheet, 
uh, we can see here all of the answers and now we can sort it from here and we can do our data analytics from our spreadsheet so that's it for today that's how you take attendance using google classroom and i hope you learned something new today if you have any questions all you have to do is to just email us here at contact at gtech.guru or you can follow our youtube channel as well at bit.ly slash ytgtechguru you can see it here and that's how you can uh, reach us to put in your comments and maybe tutorial suggestions in the future so we can help you out so um, i hope to see you again next time thank you for watching bye